mm -hmm. I just read the numbers aloud. And she bought a gift card for $450. Four, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 I'm doing all right, ma'am. Go ahead and stand up. Stop, I'm stop. sorry. Don't, don't fight. But I'm sorry. So I, I don't. Officer, I honestly I told don't you I'm care. Sorry. In Florida, officers <laughs> received a phone call from a massage parlor related to a woman who decided she wanted to purchase a three-hour spa session. Although that may seem normal, the woman offered to pay extra for the best masseuse and even included a $450 gift card in her purchase. To make matters worse, she decided she wanted to make her purchase with a stolen credit card. When officers arrived, the credit card owner was on the phone with the massage parlor and he stated that the $650 charge was fraudulent and that they should immediately call the police. She didn't show us the picture, she mm -hmm. just read the numbers aloud. And she bought a gift card for $450. From you guys? And that's the same exact amount that the couple was reporting to us. Uh -huh. Yeah. The officer was shown the suspect in question. She appeared to be relaxing, getting a massage all from the stolen credit card. But what she didn't know is things was about to make a turn when questioned about whose credit card she used. All right. Where's she at? Question for you: Did she show you the picture of the card, or did she just she just read it all she from? Was um, well, she still on the phone when that was happening? No, she wanted. She, she was just looking at her phone. Was the message on your phone? No, he called it into me. They're saying that you were reading off your phone, so. Yeah, can you see the text? Wasn't the phone? Literally, like he called. Just told me, gave me the card number, that was it. That's weird. That's crazy. Oh, wait, let me, no, I did not take it from my car. I came through an Uber. That's crazy. Oh, okay, one minute, I just got it. Oh, this is crazy. Where's your car at? You said you came in the Uber? Yeah, well, I came through an Uber, but my car That's crazy, though. How does that happen? I don't know, but let's go get your ID. So what do we do from here? Like, I mean, uh, if you're claiming that, yeah, and whatever, so you could, I'll have you write a statement. Yeah. But do you know how your husband got that card oh, then? Babe, like, I don't, I'm about to say, babe, because I'm so shocked. Cause literally, he just called me and he's like, babe, he's going and paying for me. I'm like, okay, no problem. But my thing is, how is it saying why when it's, it's his, like, we use that card before? Like, I don't understand. That part I don't understand. Because I'm like, I don't know. Me. I'm sorry. Oh, that's fine. Um, I'm so shocked, sir. I, I never had this happen before. 
so. <laughs> is this oh, your car? I know this is my brother's car. All right, what's your this first is name? Crazy. Jen Jen this is crazy. Jennifer. This crazy. J. Smith is my last name. My car. Oh, this is crazy. Because I'll let you write a statement, so at least. I said at least you'll write a statement and I'll see what's going on, but at the at the minimum I gotta do a report because realistically you couldn't you you could have been going you could have been going to jail. You can send the front for me. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hi, All right, is this Mr. Uh, Colt? Yeah. All right, this is Deputy Smith of Orange County Sheriff's Office. Um, in yeah. reference to your card, you you physically have the card? What was that? Yeah, I said, do you physically have the credit card, sir? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, do you want to press charges? Um, sure. Yeah. All right. Um, this is going to be recorded since you are you're in East County, right? Or are you in uh, Florida? Florida, uh, Kissimmee, yeah. off of uh, one ninety two. All right. So I'm gonna let you know that I'm gonna record this so okay. I could use this, and so there's no way for me to physically meet with you. Um, are you okay with me recording this conversation? Yeah. All right. Explain to me what happened. Um, I, I really don't know. It was just my wife called me and told me that we had a uh, she asked me if I made a charge at that, that uh, nail salon, and okay. I told her I didn't. And she called the credit card company and canceled the card. And then we called the nail salon company themselves to let them know that you know what happened. Okay. Um. But me and my wife, we both have. The credit card, it's the same number. Her card and my card. Her card and your so, card? And then we both physically have our cards with us. Okay. I'm sorry, y'all. No, that's fine. Just go ahead and turn around. Yeah, I gotta go. Around. I gotta yeah, go. You're going. Why? You're going. Because you, A, you lied to me. First so, off, I'm stop. Sorry. Don't, don't fight. But I'm sorry. So I, I don't. I, I honestly I told don't you care. I'm sorry. If don't fight. I honestly don't care if you're sorry or not, but here's the thing. They want to press charges. Well, and the fact they want to that press you, charges? Yeah, they want to press charges. Well, still... No, babe. I, I, I told them I did not take that from them. I did not take that from them, sir. I just got this from my boyfriend. I thought he was your husband. No, that is my husband. You went I'm from sorry. husband no, 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 to boyfriend. Sorry. You gave me the wrong name. It's nothing to be... Don't be sorry. You just own up to your stuff. The fact that you said that you're from New York and you didn't have an uh, ID and then I, I run you and then you have an ID in Florida. No, we're not playing these games. You made stupid choices and you get stupid consequences. So that's what's happening. All right. My mom, my pen. All right, there we go. Do you have anything that will poke me, stick me, hurt me or anything like that? All right, cool. Go ahead and turn around, face the flag, spread your feet. Am I able to, like, anything I can do? You could go to the jail and then you could figure it out from there. Please, sir. I'm sorry. Don't apologize well, to I me. Did, I did not. I didn't do anything. That's my thing. I'm like, I did not. It's like, I did not do that. When he gave me the car number, that's how I used it. Are you going to call my mom? I have my phone. You can. Yeah, can I call her? Yeah. Because I was holding it. Can I call her? Please? You can call her at the jail. They'll let you get the numbers out of your phone. I will let you know at the jail. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what's going on. Can you walk me through what happened, though? Because I know you're about to write it down, but I'm about to take it to jail, so I can get that later. But as long as I have a verbal of what happened, I'll be fine. Okay. So, so she came in. Uh huh. Um, she went into book a pedicure, and then before she um, wanted to do her pedicure, she wanted to buy a gift card. So um, 
Alyssa took the gift card, put the gift card numbers in there, and she said, I don't have my card on me, is it okay if I just give you um, the card number allowed? And we're like, yeah, that's fine. So she gave us the card number verbally, we typed it in, um, it declined the first two times, and then on the third time it went through, um, I think she, I, I want to say it was maybe a different number that Alyssa said that she gave her the third time, and then that one went through, and then she went back for the pedicure, and then about five minutes after she went back there, I had two calls from a couple. It was a man and a woman, and um, they said that it was a fraudulent charge, and they just wanted to let me know um, for the business. Perfect. Thank you. The suspect was taken down to the local jail and was given a free inmate uniform to wear. She was hit with fraud charges. She was given two days in jail and probation. We're sure that's enough punishment to prevent her from committing another crime ever again, but let us know what you think.